I have applied Jamaican castor oil and this is just placed in a ordinary bottle to keep it where it has the drip nozzle. Nothing extra added to it, no additives. And then the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner, I apply that as well. A generous amount of both, and you can see the hair conditioner. And what I'm doing is crocheting in this hair. And each pack comes with six bundles, and they're very generous bundles too. Like they have quite a bit of hair. So this is the pre-stretched, easy installation hair. And it is itch free because I haven't had any complaints from my five year old when I braided it into her hair. So I'll be crocheting this. My hair is corn rolled, and it is just in the simple straight back corn roll method. These pieces will be um, pulled up and secured with the hair as I get to that part. So I do have some loose hair here. And. I'm just going to start with that. I have a color number one. I don't have any color in my hair other than the gray that I tell you guys about all the time that I have a few gray sprigs up there, but I'm not going to color them. I hardly ever do anything that requires leave out. Um, when I do my natural, I'm cool with it being there. So I'm going to take hair in sections about this size all over and I'm gonna crochet it in. So I was debating if I wanted it to be like super duper long, but I'm gonna do it this length. And that's gonna, this is just castor oil right here, but it's gonna be to my stomach. So that's a good length. I still have to go to work with this stuff in. I have a traditional needle. I'm just gonna show you guys the process and then I'll, you know, fast forward it so you can see what the end results look like so I am putting it on the hook the eye of the hook and oops starting here it'd be cool if I remember how to crochet right <laughs> totally forgot how to do it <laughs> uh, I wanted to say it was in my head I am not a crochet expert so I'm gonna take it here put it in the eye of the hook just like that you're gonna lift that pull it through and then pull the remaining hair through the loop so we're gonna work that process all throughout the head and then I'll come back and show you guys how I'm gonna do my parting, my closure, closing space, I should say, and uh, my front parting. And like I said, with this, I'll take a section of hair. I'll show you guys a section of hair and I'll do it with various times to, to make sure it's secure. Take one of the braids, pull it up into the top of my head, put the hook in, grab the hair, pull it through, and do that same method until the braid feels secure. See? That's it. So I'll go down that braid doing it. And I don't do double knots or anything because I do not want to be stressed out cutting this hair out of my head. So that's what I'm doing. You can pre-section off your hair if you like. I just know I'm not gonna do it right here in this room where I'm showing you guys. And so I don't wanna have a bunch of sections of hair. So, just like that. And 
And I really, when I do my crochets, I know some people have a pattern where they stick with, you know, a section and work around. I literally just throw hair all over my head until it's full. And then whenever I get to the end, I can go through in the areas that I need to, you know, shape a little differently or apply more hair, take away some hair. Okay, so here you are definitely going in and creating um, a fuller closure there. However, I'm a fan of a side part. Therefore, all this hair is gonna be flipped anyway. Just make sure you put the hair where you're not um, stressing your roots too bad because the whole thing about a, cr a crochet is having a protective style. So make sure you're going in you're um, taking care of your hair and adding this hair in, and that way you don't have any tension there that's gonna cause breakage. Okay, so my entire head has been completed. I have installed all the hair that I wanted to use in the crochet. I have done two strand twists all over my head, and I added rubber bands to the ends just to secure the hair because it's really, really, really straight. And I don't want it to come out while I'm trying to do the hot water process. So water's on the stove boiling right now. And then I'm going to dip it and apply the lot of body foam lotion or the foam mousse to the hair. The hair will dry overnight, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like in the finished product. I do want it to be in some, some sort of a beach wave or a body wave. Now, I will say these twists are really cute, the sheen to them, but they're just too thin for my liking, so I won't leave them in. But I do know now that this is an option for me to wear them in twists and just make sure I tame the ends of the plaits or the twists. So stay tuned. All right, so now we are taking down the hair. And I will say that I forgot to apply the Lotta Body Satin Lotion to this hair, which is fine, that mousse. And I went in afterwards and I... After I um, twisted it, I braided the twist into three strand braids and threw some flexi rods on the end. Since my edges are marinating right now, I have left the headscarf on the front and I'm just working from the back forward. I'm going to do that and then we'll be able to see what the final look looks like. So these are the final twists. It's okay. This hair is really, really, really straight, though, so I guess I couldn't expect with so much. So this is what one side of the hair looks like. I'm really feeling it. That's what one side looks like. I really like that. It's really tame too. I like that even more. We're gonna see how it's gonna work with me working out and everything. So I'll make sure I take pictures so you guys can see what the length is on it. I may not even cut it since the hot water has tamed those ends a little more. Just taking the rubber bands off. 
and unbraiding and untwisting. And there are multiple, there are three rubber bands in each section. Okay, honeys, so I'm trying not to destroy the waves, which I just did on that one. I'm trying not to destroy the waves. This is what the hair looks like. So it's nice and full. And now I'm just going to remove my headscarf. And it's obvious, yes, that it's a crochet, but I'm okay with that because I was looking for something that would be good for me to pull back during my workouts. Um, this is the final look. And my edges, I want to hone in on those. So, can you guys see this? So I went in about, what, 10 minutes ago, five minutes ago with this Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold and I just used a toothbrush, it was a new toothbrush. Just use that and I immediately was like, whoa, this stuff is good. So that's another little find I found actually on clearance because I used my Eco Styler Gel, that's it. And I was impressed, but this is my look with the Body Wave hair. I don't expect for this to last more than about two to three weeks. That's typically how long I wear my protective styles. So uh, when it's time to come out, I'll let you guys know the pros and cons of wearing this style. But this is the final look. Stay tuned for a few pics.